joining us on a brand new episode of the Miss P Show. Today our focus is women. Women have gone beyond the stereotypes and pushed for development. Well, along with that, I've chosen an activity that I love myself. I love to dance. <laughs> but because I've never had the courage to go on professional, I decided to go on with Yan today, who will teach me a few choreographed steps. And yes, of course, I'm going to show you all the moves. But before, we'll take a quick stop. We'll discover Adeline Sede, who made a lot of mistakes but learned from those and is one of the first ladies to set up her PR agency here in Cameroon. Take a look. Hi, my name is Adeline Sede Kamga. I'm the founder and publisher of Faber Freak magazine. I'm also a PR executive and I live in Douala, Cameroon. It was a very tough decision for me. I mean, when I moved back home, I came here with the purpose of running the magazines and, you know, just running the magazine because I was quite passionate about it. But getting in here and seeing the gap, it was a perfect opportunity for me to step in and try to make a change. It wasn't a very difficult decision because I studied corporate communication and PR back in the days. So I think it was a natural, a natural growth to my career and I'm so happy I made that decision. Learn how to do something. Why learning how to do something? Learning how to do something purely because this is that something that you can always fall back to. I remember when I started the magazine, when I started Faber Freak magazine, I didn't know anything about publishing. I knew I was on maternity leave and I was bored at home. I said I wanted to start a website. So I started a website, then a few months later on, people wanted me to actually start the print version. I didn't have any money, I didn't have any expertise, but I told myself, hey, I'm going to do a print magazine. One year after launching the website, I launched the print magazine. So about entities investing in startup projects, I would say it's always worth taking the risk, you know, to invest in young businesses, entrepreneurs, because people do take their time to come up with ideas and people do take up their time to, to make it work. But my advice would not just go to the entities, you know, to the companies, but my advice would go to the young people or the people trying to bring in something new into our environment. Our environment is a very rigid environment and there's a lot of mediocrity. I mean, a few months back, I launched the Corporate Awards, and the essence of doing the Corporate Awards was to, was to celebrate excellence in people management. And it was a very difficult um, venture for me because many people did not trust the project at all. In fact, nobody wanted to sponsor it because they thought, oh, it's the first time, and I'm not sure it's going to happen again the second time. But <laughs> most often, what I do in the weekend is, is <laughs> well, I'm a bit ashamed to say that, but I work. <laughs> if I'm not working, I watch a lot of cartoons. I mean, I can start naming them, but I love cartoons. And I cook. Yes, I cook. I do cook during the weekends and, well, might not be the best cook, but I do cook. <laughs> So usually I spend some time, you know, doing cocktails when I have a free time. So right now, what I want to do, I want to go upstairs in the kitchen, going to do some cocktails, and I'm going to have two of my colleagues to test it and guess the recipe. So follow me. Brand new recipe that I'm just trying, so I'm gonna change to my new 